informal communication. It helps you figure out the social structure around you. Two of your most important emotions for the social uh, understanding of the world and for your social positioning is jealousy and envy. It's jealousy and envy. Jealousy helps you understand your social positioning in terms of love and loyalty. And envy helps you understand your social positioning in terms of like material possessions and the kind of energy and attention that you're getting from other people. If your envy is not healthy, you are not going to ask for what you need and you're continually going to turn away from things that would be good for you because another person might want them. Right? So the, you're the opposite of greedy. You're like self-abandoning. And if your jealousy isn't healthy, you won't sort of have this ego eye look at people before you allow them into your lives and you may bring people in close to you who are not loyal and who really don't have any business being there. I created a communication process that helps you access the incredible social genius that these two emotions carry is called gossip. Gossip is informal communication. Informal communication. It is how we get our information about the social world. So informal communication can be crucial to your capacity to keep your workplace running, keep your family running, keep your relationships running. It's crucial. If you are outside of an informal communication chain at work and nobody cares about you and nobody told you about Fred, you're going to do something socially inappropriate. You're going to do something socially inappropriate. With ethical empathic gossip, we're going to use the fact that you have jealousy and envy working at all times to keep an eye on every aspect of your social situation. Keep an eye on every aspect of your social situation. And gossip is always about a person, it's always about a social situation of unfairness or disloyalty. You say, this is the situation I'm having with my brother. And I have lost my peacefulness and my ethics and my boundaries around this. And I'm just, you know, I just want to... So I need some support in figuring out something to do. But here's the whole story. So if the listener certainly listens, but also asks questions. What, wait, are you saying that your sister did that too? Right? And then you can help the gossipers start to, start to understand even more of the social situation. Even more of the social situation. The listener's job is to give advice, but only after they have the whole story. The gossiper's job is to go back to the original relationship and do it differently, and do it differently with the help of the listener. Everybody needs to be able to have healthy, informal communication in this social world. Have fun. Gossip ethically. Gossip empathically. Gossip, gossip, gossip.